think I've explained this before in um, the video I did about taking part of the laptop. Um, not this time with the um, replacing the keyboard one, but um, the one I did that was a couple hours long. If you guys want to take a look at it, you're welcome to. But I um, figured this provided a very quick excerpt or something of that sort, you could say. Um, a lot of people are kind of confused on how uh, laptop keyboards work. I'm not really sure why. Because um, I have received questions on them before, and um, people are surprised that laptop keyboards are so uh, unique per model and whatnot, I guess you could say. But um, the way a uh, laptop keyboard works, this guy's missing a key, that's why we had to replace it. He just doesn't have the key. I can't fix it if I don't have the keyboard. Um, but the um, way these guys work is almost all keyboards you have um, basically a rubber surface um, that kind of acts like the spring, so to say, on um, uh, older style keyboards and everyone's pressing either ching 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 yeah um, they basically have this rubber film underneath the keys um, that kind of acts like a spring so you got this little tiny bump you're probably not going to be able to see it uh, try to bring it see a little black dot in the center um, that's that's it right there the little thing um, and basically the key, when you go press it, it presses that down and there's a little uh, metal contact underneath of that rubber film and it meets contact with the circuit board that's under the keyboard itself and that's in the signal through the wires and says that the key was pressed. Um, now what keeps the keys from wobbling side to side and going all over the place is this little scissor um, device. Now a desktop keyboard doesn't have these, or I should say most doesn't have these. The newer ones are starting to, um, because they want to make them thinner and thinner and thinner. And you just can't get that kind of thinness without one of these devices. And I can't get the stand up, of course, at the moment. But the scissor is basically two pieces, kind of like that. And when you press the key down, each end folds down like that, so it ends up being flat. Um, and then that rubber piece pushes it back up, or when you let go of the key, they pop back up. So, um, great example. I've ever played uh, Super Mario Brothers. You know, that little trampoline jumping jack thing, wherever the heck it is, it jumps on, it springs them up. It's the same looking deal there. It's got that scissor action. Um, so presses down, pops back up. That's how they work. Now, all keyboards are not the same. Some of them have a horizontal. In this case, the scissors here, it would go like that towards it. Um, some of them, the scissors, in fact, on this keyboard, some of the keys are like that. On the other side over here, um, the scissors facing this way on the keyboard. Like that. Um, and then you have different keys all together, special keys like spacebar, enter, shift, um, tab sometimes, um, where it's just the bar that goes across in there, and I would for a part, but I'd like to try and refurbish this uh, keyboard. But it's basically just a little bar, a little metal bar, thin metal bar, and I'll um, basically start down here and just go right across there. That way the pressure's kept even all the way across it and sometimes those are also combined with the same scissor technology um, to help make sure if you press down here on the corner of the space bar the whole key goes down and doesn't end up one side's cocked up and the other isn't. Um, so yeah that's basically how a laptop keyboard um, keys actually work for going up and down. Um, unfortunately you can't go into like uh, Best Buy, Stupid City and just pick up, you know, letter uh, B in this case, and just click it back in, and that's it. Um, almost all these are specially designed for whatever make a model. There's really no generic 
mechanismness to them other than basically the mechanism itself. Usually connectors are a little bit different. The key sizes are almost always different. Um, so if you're lucky and you happen to have a couple sitting around, you might be able to pull a key off and one to put on. It might work, but uh, don't count on it. Um, desktop keyboard, like I said, same principle. You have that big rubber, instead of just a little rubber piece here like that, you have a big rubber piece. Uh, it's got a lot more spring to it. And the whole key itself, you know, goes into a square hole and keyboard um, and there's no side to side wobble or guidance that needs just goes up and down on that um, rubber piece um, they do still have that metal bar for um, space bars, the shift keys and enter and backspace uh, on a lot of keyboards so um, that's one thing that's kind of consistent on there but other than that laptop keyboards, proprietary, nothing you can really do about it. Uh, one of the reasons I recommend people not to get a laptop unless you're actually going to be traveling with it. Um, laptops are just generally more expensive. So. Uh, this one's running a bit long too, so if you got any questions, feel free to contact us. As you see down there, our 24-hour live stream, live.tv. Uh, Until next time, see you later.